It is not good to fast charge, rapid charge, Milwaukee lithium batteries, or any lithium battery for that fact. Rapid charging lithium cells, when you have more than one cell, cells can become unbalanced. There's more resistance in some cells. They just, when you rapid charge, it's really hard for the lithium to absorb the amount of voltage equally but <clears throat> between each cell. Let me show you what I did to maybe hopefully fix this issue. Just to eat it. All right, we got a lot to show you here. There's plenty of videos on the YouTube on how to get to this point. Open your battery up. I just want to show you what I did. Um, basically, I've been a model airplane pilot, fly a lot of drones now. And the balance of lithium batteries is very important. And you really should never fast charge a battery unless you absolutely need to. But with these Milwaukee batteries, that's called rapid charge so that, that's that's beating the battery up good so what i've done was on every lithium battery there's one of these balancing plugs okay and you can get these chargers out of amazon they are lithium battery balancing chargers and they discharge you know they you can condition the battery with these but you need to plug the battery in hard and the balance plug to make this work. And how I did that was I, I printed, you know, the, the typical power adapter for the Milwaukee battery and put the battery terminal in on, on the end of it. Let me get this out of the way. So basically what I'm showing you here today is how and where I soldered these five cell balancing plug. I'll show you. Got the voltmeter on here. I like to start like most when you have these little balance reader. Your first one is the negative. So you start with your negative will be your first cell here to here. 14 or 4.17 then you alternate negative positive that's your second cell I'll show you second cell so your first cell will be the opposite of the red all the way over here to the right that's your first cell negative get this one here first one was negative second one positive then when you alternate to cell two you're here so it's negative positive you just you just keep alternate you, you alternate the wires side to side so if, you, if you're looking at the red red wire here I'm gonna go the backwards way here see if this even helps a little bit better this is the positive side of the battery so I put the positive here the positive side of the battery I skip a wire for the other side I grab the third wire in and it will go here skip a wire grab the next wire and it will go here so these three will go on the positive side of the battery these other three oops in my hand get them out here so it will be the first it'll be the first one on this side skip one the third skip one the fifth there are six wires on a five cell balance cable and these would be wired according to the side 
first, third, yeah, first, third, fifth, just like that. And that's what I did. Just tucked them in really good. Put a little hot glue to make sure they stay where they could, should be. And just drilled out this part of the battery with a Dremel right there in the front. Put a little hot glue in there to hold everything in place. You just tuck them wires. It's, it's kind of difficult, but it can be done. As you're closing it, you want to tuck them wires down in there. Plenty of room down in there. And now, demonstrate the balance plug here. Sorry for the noise. There you have it. Now that you have a balancing port on there, you can plug in, this is my mobile here, get on the other side, this is my mobile power bank. This battery has been through a few drone crashes, hence my balance port broke. Fix it later. So I just got a multi adapter here try to fit it there on the five cell balancing port to get this all on video here get in there all right as you see all my cells are showing up there i hope that's visible And now with this device, <clears throat> check this out. You can go through different tasks. If you can see that or not. You can charge, which I want to show you a discharge real quick. This is this is how I can condition and keep a battery and my discharge at 1.1 amps on a five cell down to it says condition 3.3 volts go down to start it says I don't have my power port plugged in we forgot to plug this in it's a very smart charger. All right, just like that, got the battery back together. Took me a minute to get them all tucked in there. She's all sealed down. You see the battery lighting up. She is fully charged. Okay. I think so, yeah. All right. Took this bag up as we were. Let's plug it in the power first. Watch what's going on. No cells and five cells. Get a little closer there. Can we get her down a little? No, it ain't helping any. And we forgot to plug this in last time, so let's plug it in. Here. All right, it says we got it. So we can go back to where we were going. The task is we want to discharge this battery. The discharge is going to be down to 3.3. And then we'll go down to start. There she goes. 
with this port on the battery these batteries should last a really long time as long as you're not fast charging it all the time if you are give the battery a break plug it into a balancer get them all equaled out in voltage uh let's see i can show you something different we just stop this one you don't have to go down to this charge you can go to storage you click storage it'll only bring it down to 3.8 that should in most cases get your cells balanced and you can set the current on what draw you want it to be it was going to do 1.1 i put it at 1.3 not much a difference just a little quicker hit go now it's only going to go down to 3.8 and they are kind of out of balance it was way out of balance earlier i just got sick of taking the battery apart so i put the balancing port on there you can find these on amazon i bought them with both ends on it but they were 6s and i had these little 5s connectors i just couldn't i'm converting it to 5s so i don't got to use this pin here i can just use this piggy tail it's a little be a little easier but for that little thing to be sticking out in the back big deal it don't affect me using the tools i could put probably a little silicone around if i'm worried about water getting in i have the andrew kicking this thing will get warm stop that for now as you see it's brung my highest battery down to four 0.19 and it'll go through them all they'll, they'll all be exactly 3.8 when it's all said and done which is great then you can put through a charge you can choose the current for the charge you want one amp 1.3 that's way better than the mass of whatever it is that rapid charging is pushing through them things if you like the video like subscribe what just happened? Huh. My video quit. Anyway. All right. For all you drone flyers out there, what do you think? I, I, I can hear you thinking. You know, how nice would that be to have a giant Milwaukee battery to power up your drone when you want to do a little configurations on your uh, beta flight? Check it out. Power right up, right from your big old Milwaukee. How's that? Unlimited amount of power there. For a while, anyway. I thought I'd throw that out there. Y'all have a blessed day. Till next time.